Hello, I am Dr. Sanjeev. I am a senior pediatrician in Cloud9 Hospital, Electronic City, Bangalore. One of the commonest diseases that we come across in children other than diarrhea and vomiting is pneumonia. Pneumonia basically means there is infection in the lung. And clinically we see pneumonia in the form of a child who is a bit sick, having cough and cold. In addition, the mother will complain that the child is breathing fast. Whenever a child is breathing fast, that is what we call as pneumonia. In addition, if the pneumonia is little more severe, then the child in addition can have indrawings in the chest. So indrawing in the chest with a rapid respiratory rate, fever and cough usually is what is called as pneumonia. Now sometimes these pneumonias can be even more severe whereby the child stops eating properly, becomes little irritable or goes semi-comatose or turns blue or throws a fit. These are all the red flag signs that the parent should look for. If a child is having cough and cold and a child is breathing fast, it is a time that you see a healthcare worker. Majority of the causes are virals. In addition, some of the causes can be bacterial infections and to detect them, it's always as your child starts breathing very fast with fever and cough, you should see that you reach the healthcare facility as early as possible. Some of the parents nowadays, they have a pulse oximeter at home. And if you are able to check the saturations at home, that will be an early indication that your child is going to turn blue. If any saturations which are less than 92, you should immediately report to a healthcare facility. The common causes can be viral. Influenza is a very important cause nowadays. Coronavirus is the other cause. Similarly, other bacterial infections that commonly cause pneumonias are pneumococcal, H. influenzae. Since we have a good set of vaccines that we use, prevention of these pneumonias to some extent can be possible with proper vaccination or a complete vaccination of a child which is appropriate for their age. If these problems increase, then the best way is to reach to a healthcare worker or any hospital nearby as early as possible. Majority of these infections are taken care at home if the child is not turning blue by giving simple medicines for cough and cold and fever and sometimes these children may require antibiotics if the lungs are really infected badly. If the child is not taking orally or is more sick, he may require admission to the hospital so that we can give injectable antibiotics, we maintain their oxygenation, we maintain their hydration. So remember any child with fever and cough, if he is not keeping well, feels very sick, lying down, not eating well, is vomiting too much, he is turning blue and he is breathing very fast. These are the red flag signs that should alert the parents to take the child to the hospital as soon as possible.